I would consider 10% a win, but a a win and what someone should swap for are two different things. That's not my goal though. That's why I'm getting away. That's why I'm getting away from uh the hardware nerd type of benchmarks and more useful benchmarks right like let's pick out some games that have some real unoptimized or cpu bottlenecks and let's see what new architectures can do on that shit who cares if you're getting 15,000 fps dude who fucking cares no one gives a shit even if it shows a victory it doesn't so so put it this way if if Alder Lake gets 1500 FPS. Notepad. CSGO. 10900K, 1000 FPS. 12900K, 1200, 1200 FPS. Okay. Let's say this is the case. This shouldn't impact your buying decision at all. In fact, this one is one third the price. You should still buy this one. You know what I mean? That's why I don't care about this shit. This shouldn't impact your buying decision at all, right? If it's like Warzone... When you're a competitive Warzone player, right? And it's like 12900K is maybe 20 FPS faster. I don't even know if that's even worth it, right? That's up to you, right? What if this is uh, 200, 220, and this is like 240 in the lows? This is still one third the price right now, right? It, th that's what I'm saying. I, I, I'm trying to find, because the 10900K is so cheap, I want to find reasons, like maybe it's my own reasons. I don't even know. I want to find a good use case for this thing, right? Otherwise, for the next 10 fucking years, we're going to be stuck on this shit because there's no point in moving off of it because the price to performance is so good on it, right? That's what I'm saying. What is the threshold to be worth it? That's a good question, dude. I honestly don't know. It's too expensive to ever be worth it. I don't, like, 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 it, like, like the idea of worth it in itself is quite subjective, right? Look how many fucking people in here are buying Alder, like knowing it's going to be like 2% faster. They're still blowing like two grand on this shit, right? So to them, for some reason, it's still worth it. I don't, I have no fucking clue why, right? Um, to me, I would never do that in a million years, but to them, they would, right? Um, especially XOC dudes, they'll blow fucking 20 grand on 3090s to bin them to get 20 megahertz out of it. It's fucking insanity, dude. It's, it's, it's complete fucking asinine insanity, right? But they do that shit. And to them, it's worth it for some reason, right? So I don't know. For me, for a 12900K to be worth it, it's honestly, okay, because I don't care about Warzone anymore, it would never be worth it. I don't know, I'm, I'm still even assuming it's gonna be faster in Warzone. It could just be slower, right? It would have to be like 20% faster consistently in warzone for it to be worth it for me i think then uh i would i would like be like okay maybe that's three grand at least there's like 20 percent, right like think about it right this is 10 percent right here and and warzone would have to come out with a ranking system like like in, in order for a faster processor to be worth it for me, there would have to be a goal of some sort, right? So, if I'm just birthing and fucking running people over and RPGing kids and shit, it's not going to be worth it because I don't fucking care. I'm going to play two or three games and then drop the game and go play something else, right? So, that, that 20 FPS boost that i get running people over in berthas doesn't fucking mean anything to me because i'm just playing for fun 
if there was a ladder and a ranking system and I had a goal to be the best player that I could possibly be, play tournaments, win tournaments, destroy streamers and all that shit, become a streamer, sure. Then if this was 20% faster, this would be 260, right? 260 versus 220. That's a competitive edge. Yeah, I would say that's that's a competitive edge enough of a competitive difference to make it to matter right 240 i would say wouldn't not for three grand right it, you'd be better off working on your skills rather than worrying about that shit right but that's just me but like if warzone doesn't come out with a, a ranking system then i would never upgrade because i don't fucking care about that game right battlefield i don't care about there's no ranking system for that game uh i can't think of a game that i play that i can't max out or a game that i care about you guys know i'm still just waiting for overwatch 2. that's all i'm walking as soon as overwatch 2 comes out i'm not playing anything else dude i'm going all in competitive scene on overwatch 2. i can play that shit, dude dude do you remember do you remember my uh my 5600 x 6600 xt video i had that one thousand dollar rig on my on my desk here while i was benching it and then when i launched overwatch to play it i just ended up playing for like three hours dude i noticed zero difference it was locked at 400 fps zero difference so like 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 what, like what the fuck you know what i mean it's like it's like cpus are just tools man buy whatever tool you need for the game that you play right so like so like let's say it's 20 percent faster in warzone okay let's 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 say it's fucking the bee's knees 20 percent faster in warzone if i'm an overwatch player i don't give a shit don't fucking care dude I played the fucking game that I play, dude. I'll take that money and invest it in a better display. Get a 390 hertz one, maybe. That's a way better investment. Do you know what I mean? Things that... A better mouse, a better keyboard, faster response time. I don't need a fucking... 400 FPS Overwatch or... 400 FPS in Overwatch. That's a great... That's a great use of my fucking money but i get to say that i have it all the redditors are gonna suck my dick if i tell them i have it though they don't they don't play the game but i can tell them that i have it like like you know what i'm saying it's not it wouldn't it literally wouldn't be worth it to me unless warzone came out with a ranking system and it was 20 percent faster then it would be worth it for for me to change do you know what i mean anyway let me catch you up here I would consider 10% a win, but a a win and what someone should swap for are two different things, right? Technically, if if you go if you go from 2600k 3770k 4790k 6700k every single generation was a win over the other one there was never a reason to upgrade from this one for like 10 fucking years was there and and that's kind of a difference that you can see from the og mindset of gamers versus these hardware nerds that are prevalent nowadays do you know what i mean back then you were kind of glorified for hanging on to shit as long as possible it, it like like the 2600k was a status symbol dude the fucking 9900k was out you're like bro i'm still rocking this shit from 10 years ago and you were like the fucking goat now it's like if you don't buy ddr5 ram you're a fucking peasant and that might just be because i'm a youtuber now though 
and this and oh, like 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 maybe the majority of humans aren't like that but like my vision is kind of skewed because i have to deal with all these fucking retards all the time so that's possible too maybe maybe this is still like an actual thing right like maybe there's someone out there on like a 6700k and they're just happy with it and they're just like i don't see any of this i i still get my 100 fps i'm fucking good right maybe these people still exist maybe we just lost sight of them right because there's just too many fucking nerds dude there's too many there's too many around us they're everywhere dude they're like getting confidence to come out of their basements it's fucking crazy i know overwatch is delayed man but that's what i'm saying I'm, that's that's the game that i'm waiting for when overwatch 2 comes out i'm i'm end game on that shit dude end game i don't fucking care yeah i'm gonna be playing on a fucking 2600k at 400 fps i'm gonna be i'm gonna be fine you know what i mean i don't need no alder like zen 7d shit i'm good i'm good man i'm a competitive gamer i'm like 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 i do the benchmark stuff because i i do the benchmark stuff because i like i like that kind of shit right and um man if it wasn't for warzone like this job would be fucking incredibly boring dude warzone was the first game warzone was like the first game that i was like this is why overclocking is still alive like this game is why you know what i mean and i didn't even know that nobody was overclocking their shit everyone's like how the fuck does this guy have 200 fps i'm like how do you not have 200 fps why are you not min maxing your fucking pc you buy if you buy a product you buy something off the shelf you don't just leave it alone you gotta figure out how to fucking max that shit out always dude you don't just buy things and leave them alone you know what i mean